Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton, and today I'll be reviewing Carbon Fill by Form Futura. So let's get to it. So this is Carbon Fill by Form Futura. It is based on HD glass, which is a modified version of PETG that Form Futura makes. Then they add 20% carbon fiber to the mix, resulting in a filament that is lighter than PLA and that resists higher impacts. They claim to use longer fibers than the competition, which should make it better, so let's see if it actually pulls it off. Form Futura's filaments come inside this red box. In one of the sides, you'll find the sticker indicating the material type, color, printing temperature, and diameter. Besides that, you'll find a hole in the other side of the box to take a look at the filament. The back has some safety and storage guidelines, but you already know the drill. I like that Form Futura seals the box itself, which gives the filament an extra layer of protection before it is purchased and used. Inside the box you'll only find the roll of filament, which is also nicely sealed with silica gel inside. Remember this filament is lighter than PLA, meaning it yields more meters per kilogram. A 750 gram roll should yield around 260 meters of 1.75 millimeter filament. Yet, if you're low on filament, the spool is transparent, so you'll know when you get there. However, there is only one spot on the spool to hold the end of the filament. So as always, I gave it the think making treatment by drilling some extra holes. The spool also has a sticker with the same info as the box. The winding on this filament is also very good, so I wouldn't worry about it getting stuck. The filament itself is very rough and has a matte finish to it. It also breaks easily, so make sure you have a smooth filament path. The diameter is also very consistent and within the margin of error. So testing time? As always, I printed my three usual test designs, a calibration cube, a Marvin, and a 3D Benchy. Using an E3D V6 at a 0.2 layer height, I found 205 degrees to be a great printing temperature, and hairspray on glass with or without a heat bed, great for adhesion. However, this may vary for you. As for the results, the calibration cube looks very nice. The letters are well defined and the sides feel quite rough, which I actually really like. It's a rough, matte finish that I have not seen in any other filament. Some of the corners are not super sharp, but that might be my cooling. If you look close enough, you can even see the fibers sticking out of the print. As for the Marvin, rim was easily removed. Overhangs came out really nice and the overall finish was better than in most of my PLA based filaments. The same goes to the 3D Benchy. Curves are consistent, overhangs really nice, but again, some corners were not as sharp as other times. Knowing that this filament is good at resisting impacts and that it has a nice finish to it, I went ahead and printed a couple of things that I thought might look great with this filament. To start off, I printed this Mayan sculpture. It needed supports which were actually a little hard to remove. Then I sanded it to give it a more realistic stone look, and I think it ended up looking very nice. Then I printed this tactical knife. It prints in two parts and then you need to glue it together. And it won't break if you stab someone. Then I printed this crystal slash iceberg slash cool looking thing in base mode. And it looks pretty awesome. The rough matte finish that this filament achieves looks awesome in prints that could simply be used as decor. Next, I printed a set of small wrenches. Over the past week, these have actually helped me replace some parts of my printer. Finally, I had to test if this filament is actually good at what it claims it is, resistant impacts. I've also noticed that you guys always want a comparison, so I also printed a PLA version of the calibration cube. I didn't have any special tools to test impact strength, so I went ahead and started throwing them to the floor. The cubes did nothing more than bounce off the floor and hit my face, so I decided to switch to a hammer. I tried to apply the same force with every blow. After a couple of hits, the PLA cube started to break apart. The fiber one handled much more hits before it started to break. Even more interesting is that after the PLA cube started breaking, it only took a few more hits to turn it into a pile of PLA pieces. The fiber one, on the other hand, handled the hits pretty well, even after it started breaking. And even more interesting is how carbon fill breaks. Take a look, it mostly breaks into large pieces. In the other hand, PLA basically shattered into pieces just like glass. So the important things about this filament is that it is lighter than PLA, it resists stronger impacts, it looks very cool with that matte rough texture, 
plus it can be sanded. It is good for projects where weight and durability are important factors, such as drones, RC cars, and robots. It is also good for decor as it has a unique finish other filaments don't have, so this filament is good for many projects. If you want to try a roll for yourself, I'll leave a link to Form Futura's website down in the description, along with all the designs I featured in this video. Also remember to tag ThinkMaking in Instagram or Twitter to get a chance to get your creations featured. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you loved it, consider supporting me through Patreon or by buying some cool stuff in my merch store. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check out this video. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.